Actually, most of me is still in Syria. I don't have family anymore, my friends all over the world. Almost my everything that's inside me is not here. It's in Syria. Physically, I'm out, that's for sure. <laughs> not, not that sure, I mean. But what I miss exactly is the relations with my friends, my family, the good places, the moments of happiness I lived there, my, uh, the girls I loved, all the, the beautiful feelings that were I miss. But not the real, like, punch of soil that's controlled by the army and, like, under the boots of the Assad regime. I had to start the life from zero, like just a baby trying to learn the language again, doing your work, study again, all the things. So it's uh, you got after so. <laughs> Basically, my main work is following the human rights violations in Syria regarding the media, the freedom of information, and other human rights violations. For example, I hear of a group of people are detained in some place, so I try to investigate, try to reach those groups, contacting my friends there on ground or from friend to a friend to another, and using social media sometimes to reach them, to have their testimonies, then report this to human rights organizations like Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, Reporters Without Borders. We cannot compare the respect to human rights in the European countries and Syria. We cannot compare that because in Syria there is no mention of human rights. There is no mention of humans. Everything in the country is controlled by the elite, the regime and its men, and they are having all the advantages of Syria. In most cases, people were picked up from the street, from their homes. There was no record of their uh, detention. Families were terribly scared, whether their relatives were detained, disappeared, or extrajudicially executed. The situation itself is not improving, but what I see is the understanding of human rights by many Syrians, especially outside of the regime-controlled area. They are having this new education because of the workshops they are doing. They are trained by European countries, by uh, NGOs. When you take the opinion of people, when you just let them to express themselves, to, to have freedoms like freedom of media, freedom of speech, all the freedoms are necessary. And all those are based on the respect of the humans. If you respect the other, then you give him the rights.